Hey all. First of all, let me show you what we are going to do today. Zero D message. Oh. Well, as you can see, I just uh, I'm just following the latest D messages using this command. And let me load a kernel module. See, I have a .ko, hello.ko file here, which is the kernel module object, and I'm going to load it using sudo ins mod. Stands for insert module, I guess. And we are going to insert this uh, hello.ko kernel module. See, when I run this command, as soon as I run this command, you can see here loading or this is hello world module and hello world is printed over here okay like i don't want uh, this kernel module to be loaded and uh, i was just going to remove this aura mod hello i have to be root to run it with sudo you can see as soon as i ran this or a mod uh, it said goodbye yeah it's not very functional it is not very useful but uh, this kernel module will teach you how to write a kernel module and what is what even is a kernel module okay let's jump right into it okay first of all a linux kernel module is just a piece of software can be used to give access to low level hardware like your IO devices and um, in embedded systems world you can write a SPA or CAN controller driver USB driver and load it to your uh, Linux kernel and you can just quickly prototype your uh, device drivers it is also modular so you can compile and uh, edit your running system Without having to recompile your entire operating system which significantly improves uh, or it eliminates the need to recompile your entire Linux kernel so the kernel header provides you with many useful tools like header files so you don't have to reinvent the wheel when you write your Linux kernel, kernel module the most common Linux kernel module you encounter will most likely be a device driver, but there are several other applications for NLK. So I'll leave a link to this blog in the description. You can read it or you can watch the rest of the video. Okay, now what? What are the requirements? Obviously, we need a Linux PC and uh, going over to the terminal here hearing out and let's see first of all we need uh, two packages sudo pt get install build essential and uh, your kernel headers so when you run uname-r you will get uh, this kernels uh, version string that uh, every uh, Linux kernel version you install from your uh, uh, distro distros package manager. In my case, I am installing Ubuntu. I'm installing from Ubuntu repository. So there will be a package uh, header libraries corresponding to this kernel. This kernel is running in my system, loaded and running my system, and uh, I am just downloading the corresponding kernel header. Let's uh, install the kernel header. Well, I have already installed, so it is just uh, going to say it is already the newest version. If you haven't, uh, you should uh, run this install command first. Build Essentials is just a tool to uh, just a meta package that will install your uh, C++ compiler and uh, make the make tools many many such things it is a meta package that um, that installs other packages then we are going to like uh, before jumping into the code 
let's just see what is in the message okay the I just cleared my kernel D message, so I am just getting these uh, things now. But if, if you uh, if you run in your uh, system, this uh, D message will populate uh, hundreds of things with uh, timestamp and mentions status of uh, most of the kernel drivers, uh, not drivers, kernel modules. Okay, let's uh, move on to the code. So I have a hello.c and uh, make file here. So only two files are necessary for us. Yeah, let me do this from scratch. I'm just going to create a hello kernel module tutorial. I'm going that directory and I am going to start Visual Studio code here. I am just creating a new file called uh, hello.c. Hope you can see it clear. So the first thing we need is we have to include uh, some header files. We are going to include uh, Linux slash module dot h Linux slash kernel dot h the Linux slash init. So these are some basic uh, necessary header files that you need to you see, compile and uh, load your kernel modules into a running kernels, a running Linux kernel. So we are going to mention, uh, we are going to create just two functions here. One is static. Net. Hello. In it. Okay. So it is not going to get uh, any parameters void, and we are going to use some um, int k method, which will, which is similar to printf, but it is not uh, writing to st standard output. Standard IO is not will not work here. We are just using this uh, print statement to debug your kernel uh, module. Okay. Now we are going to go. Loading an awesome hello world. Forget slash in okay. now we are going to okay. log an info turn info and let's say hello y'all okay now we have a function forget return statement and zero now we need another function that that is going to be executed at the end like uh, when the kernel module is uh, deinitialized or removed okay so i'm going to change the functions i go to exit and this is going to be executed at when uh, unloading the kernel, kernel module. So we are going to mention tool init. 
going to be hello it another one is going to be fuel exit this is going to be hello init. okay now we need uh, to add few things for uh, Linux kernel to um, to build this metadata for our kernel module. So we are going to mention module license. The license is going to be GPL. This cannot be anything like uh, this has to be a proper uh, license like GPL. The next one is your author. It's going to be me. Then we are going to create or add a description. I awesome then that's all that's all the code that we need now let's create a make file now we are going to create a make file so the make file is going to contain uh, just three lines one is mentioning opjm equals hello dot o then the all target is to be make hyphen c is going to be lib tunes we are going to find the current kernel kernel's uh, name using name hyphen r and we are going to move into build directory okay then we are going to mention the current directory as the modules source directory this m flag will mention that uh, where the kernel source is located and that will be our current working directory that is dollar p w d okay? and this modules flag is given to the make uh, command for clean just basically copy this same and change the last flag to clean that's all now I am going to just uh, open the command prompt and I am going to create or make. When you run this make, uh, it is just going to change to this directory. If C flag hyphen C flag will be used to uh, go into this directory and uh, build this package there. Like uh, it will read a make file from this location also. This the definition for this OBJM. Everything will be available in that directory. So I am just going to run make. Okay, some warnings being treated as errors. Okay, so where am I? Here. Avoid. Okay. What I basically did. This should be. The dnit function should be uh, void. It should not return anything. That's why it is giving yes. Also, I should uh, change this to goodbye. Goodbye all and make it unloading. Yeah, let's run it again. I think I see no error messages now. Let's build the hello.ko module here. So yeah, let's uh, move to this big screen. Okay, you can see the D message bottom of the screen here. Okay, now it is saying goodbye. Now I am going to, as you can see. I'm in this directory where the hello.ko is loaded and you can just load so hello.ko 
see here we are seeing loading an awesome hello world module let's uh let's unload the module that's all unloading an awesome hello world module. just unload it it's loaded and unloaded and that's all so i'll try to make some um, videos on writing usb device drivers but um, this is a first step towards writing your own kernel module if you have any doubts uh, please let me know in the comment section below and uh, to read the blog i have left the link to the blog in the description yeah, make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching